Pretty much every French woman when they talk is extremely sexy, but like one out of 20 guys. No. <laughs> no. It's just not as sexy to have a man talking with his lips like that. Chanson des escargots qui vont à l'enterrement. A woman is a woman, one of my favorites. Anna Karina's in both of those. Um, Contempt, Bridget Bardot. They're certainly both French. They both talk with their lips. To me, the most important thing in trying to speak any foreign language is to not worry about whether you're making mistakes or not. I hang out a lot with these Russian clowns, and they speak very little English, and I speak no Russian, but we get along swimmingly uh, using very few words. You know, you can make noises. I don't know. It's hard to describe. We're in kind of a wordy environment now, so it, it, would, it would be maybe a bit awkward to demonstrate. But uh, I remember seeing Alphaville when I was around 16. That had a real strong impression on me. Dumbo always makes me cry. Uh, uh, the scene with all the animals and their moms, and then um, Dumbo's mom is in a cage and she sticks her tr she sticks her trunk through the bars and cradles him. And I got into a Dustin Hoffman phase when I was 12 and watched everything I, I could get of his. Well, I, I liked that he was always different. My favorite actors are chameleons. Um, and uh, yeah, you just you, you never feel like you're watching an actor. Uh, unless he wants you to, um, or you're watching Tootsie. Brando played Sky Masterson. You know what, it's not my favorite Brando performance either. It might be Apocalypse Now, even though it, he, he's not like the star of it. Um, yeah, he's pretty damn good in that. He's talking about his dream of the snail making its way across a, a razor blade and surviving. I remember getting my first laugh as a scarecrow when I, uh, you know, did it one of these, I kind of fell down, something like that. I don't know if that, <laughs> but um, the audience laughed. And then got off stage, Dorothy smiled at me. I should really remember her name. It might have been Danielle. Well, the hardest thing about playing a soldier is kind of acknowledging that I've never done and I might never do anything that brave. Uh, I've never put my life on the line for anybody. And. Uh, thinking about war and thinking about soldiers in my past because I was brought up by parents who were, you know, active in the anti-war movement in the 60s and stuff. And I always considered war in some sort of geopolitical way, sort of intellectual way, not thinking much about the subjectivity of an individual soldier. My favorite five non-musical sounds. It depends on what I'm playing, whether I feel happier or sad or, or what, but I do feel at my best when I'm working. There's uh, this one, this one, this one. I feel best when I'm trying hard and, and uh, working, I always try hard. Mm, this one and this one. Acting's really difficult to talk about. <laughs> if you could talk about it so easily, then you wouldn't have to act.